What's up dudes, today we're finding out if Abby's gonna have this baby in two days. If we get the all clear for you to have this baby, this is the last doctor's appointment period for this pregnancy. Wild, wild. How are you feeling? So tired right now. <laughs> I feel that. While Matt finishes getting ready, I'm just gonna quickly do, there's this like exercise on YouTube that's like seven minutes to induce labor or whatever. And it's just a good workout to like move baby into a good position. So might as well just do that before we get checked at the doctor. Activate labor. Uh, first of all, I will. So since we have a history of having really big babies in both of our families, the doctor has said, hey, if Abby's dilated at all today at this last appointment, we're gonna go ahead and move forward with inducing her on Saturday, which is two days from now. Are you doing a, uh, a pregnancy workout to try to un induce this baby? That's what you're doing? Is this like the literally? The comments are hilarious. If really? you look at them, it's like, I'm 39 weeks and I went into labor like two hours after. Like every comment is like. Are you serious? They went into labor after. They went into labor right after doing this video. Holy cow. Yeah, like What's hours. the title? Is it uh, activating, activating, <laughs> activating labor? That's the funniest thing ever. In the car. Man, we're doing this. You guys might be wondering, why is Abby driving to her own doctor's appointment? Well, that my friends is because we fight. If, she, if I drive, so she's the one driving. Anything we can hand to prevent it. Yeah, there's a lot of construction by our doctor's office. Yes. And it stresses Matt out, and he makes questionable decisions, even well, if we're running late. It doesn't stress me out. I just made a, a decision one time that, um, let's just say Abby wasn't a fan of, and then we got into uh, a you, dispute about you that decision. missed your turn. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know who's a fan of missing a turn. I hate being late to the doctor. You getting emotional? Yeah. What's making you emotional? I say it again, I'm gonna start crying. You want me to say it for you? Yeah. Abby was just saying that she's worried, or not not worried, but just it scares her that she can't protect our son outside of her womb, right? Like, once she gives birth to our son, he's he could be, you know, bullied one day, someone could hurt him, she doesn't want to see him get hurt. You said it in a sadder way. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't really, I didn't really use the best eloquent no, words did. to explain that. You did. No, that's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. Sorry, I just didn't want to hear. No, you're it. good. No, you're good. You're tough. You got this. Give me nuts. Just thinking about how I feel like my womb is like the safest place for the baby forever because I can really protect him from the world there. But once he's born, mm -hmm. you can't protect him like that anymore, which is like scaring me. Yeah. Wait. Wait. You're a trooper. <laughs> Say that again. I feel like they're gonna see my booty crap when they <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should close that curtain. No, I'll go fine. I'll close the curtain. At this point, Abby has um taken her clothes off and she was made she made sure to put her undies hidden underneath her clothes, even though they're gonna see everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got some pretty good news actually you guys. Abby is 60% effaced and she's one centimeter dilated, which is a big change. The doctor said that she can tell that her belly has dropped. Um, she measured in at 42 centimeters. Is that what you measured 42, in at? 42, 42 and a half, something like that. Yeah, so whatever that means. At first when she said 42, Abby thought that meant that she was measuring <laughs> 42 at 42 weeks, weeks pregnant. pregnant. I was like, <laughs> we were like, whoa, we need to have this baby. Yeah, so I guess what that means now is they are going to let the doctor know our doctor's out of town. She gets in tomorrow. and. We'll see if we can induce on Saturday. we That's the plan. We're hoping we can induce on Saturday, which is two days from today, but the doctor's also really busy with doing other inductions for other patients. So fingers crossed, we're gonna be getting a phone call later tonight. 
also, it was so embarrassing, you guys. I don't fully understand our situation with Abby's insurance. We we actually, Abby's not on her dad's insurance anymore, and we have our own insurance. Anyway, health insurance is a mess. Health insurance is a mess, and today they're like, you need to pay $100 before we do this appointment today, or we can't see you. It was embarrassing. And it was, it was so embarrassing, even though like we have money to pay it, but I've just like been putting off that task of paying our medical bills that we've had pile up so far, but it's all good. I'm going to call and pay everything today, and then we'll be squared away. We also need to get our pediatrician today. We're gonna do that, right? Mm -hmm. Today we're paying all of our medical bills and we're getting our pediatrician figured out. And pre-registering for the hospital. Yes. I adulting. Guys, adulting is hard. It really adulting is. Adulting is hard. It's not what to crack up to be. We got it. Let's go get breakfast. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Whenever I eat with Matt, I always feel like I'm eating with a competitive eater. It's like no one's trying to take your food. Why do you need to eat so fast? I just get really hungry. I grew up with brothers, so I have to eat fast in order to actually get a bite. I'm not trying to take your food. I'm not your brother. You're on a date with a beautiful lady, and you're going to eat like when you're eating with your brothers? That's a pretty valid point. Abby just looks at these plants right here and goes, I don't like those plants. I think they belong underwater. <laughs> They really do. They look like they're something from like SeaWorld or something. So Abby and I are just chatting and Abby goes, hey, I read online that if you are dilated at all, you're going to give birth in about the next three days, according to the internet. Which is crazy because if we be induced, okay, but let's say it is true. If you're going to be induced anyway in two days, why don't we just wait till three days when you would naturally go into labor, right? Holy crap. Your belly is about to explode, ma'am. It's not a joke. Dude, I well I can tell. Like even towards the front and then face the side. Face the side. Pop! Like whoa! Whoa! Oh hi dudes. What's up? We're taking a nap. You're taking a nap. Abby needs to take naps, but she's not very good at taking them. I was trying, but then the doctor called. Did you fall asleep at all? I don't know. I was asleep and you kept making noise and you kept waking me up. I was making noise? Yeah. Yeah, so guys, the doctor called. They said that they uh, they want to see me tomorrow. We do a membrane strip. Whoa, what is that? I don't know. It's like it might induce it and then get me on the list for induction for tomorrow. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. Is that what you want to do? Do you want to do that? I, after they evaluate me and they think it's all right, then yeah. Oh my gosh. This baby's coming a lot earlier than what we thought. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited. That's good news. I th I literally hearing you like seeing you go away. I thought you come back and be like, yeah. She said it's not gonna happen this Saturday. Like I thought you were gonna say like it's gonna be another no, couple like, days. Tomorrow. <sighs> Right now? We have to go right now. 